So the word talks about not worrying. Okay, worry, stress, anxiety, bitterness, envy. Those are not of God. Okay, you're going to have emotions, of course. Every human has emotions. But God doesn't want us to be worried. It says to be anxious for nothing, but in everything in prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving to God, let your requests be made known, and the peace that passes all understanding will guard your heart and mind in Jesus Christ. And so we need to give up worry and give up bitterness and give up sorrow and choose the sacrifice of joy. Now, joy is the strength. It's our strength. It says the joy of the Lord is our strength. So joy and happiness, we need to guard it. We need to guard our hearts and minds in Jesus Christ. That is where our strength comes from. And it is a discipline. It's uh, the heaven language that we need to practice. We need to practice joy, patience, thanksgiving. I mean, read the fruit of the spirits. The fruit of the spirit is what we need to practice. It says that joy is a sacrifice. Uh, we bring praise and joy and worship to God as a sacrifice. It's not something you're going to feel right away. It's something you have to practice. It's just like a language the there's two kingdoms which i did a talk on and two languages and there's the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light and god's is the kingdom of light and they have a different language than darkness you can hear people talking i mean people that talk about death and despair and they think that's the reality yeah that's their reality and then christians reality is hope and joy we're not to be worried or anxious about anything no matter what happens around us Paul was content, he said, wherever he found himself. I mean, he was in peril so many times. He was shipwrecked, he was beaten, he was imprisoned, and was hungry. Paul had all kinds of things happen to him. But he said, wherever he found himself, he was content. Because whether I die, I die with the Lord. And whether I live, I live to the Lord. And if God knows exactly where you are, we're to be content and happy where we are. Because the stress and the things that are coming against us is part of spiritual warfare it says that if i suffer with him i will also reign with him so we need to be joyous and happy and content right where we are at and that's where the power of joy that's where you see the power of joy and happiness in a decision um, in a sacrifice come in that we can be content wherever we find ourselves because of god's perfect love when you feel lo love and peace and patience when you feel excitement or adrenaline about what you're doing that is God you're feeling God we just are so familiar with God we don't give him credit that's God that's not us you're not gonna see that in hell you're not gonna have happiness and joy and adrenaline in hell that's that's a gift from God that's where the power comes from it's not a mystery this is not difficult to figure out this is pretty simple stuff I mean you just choose joy over sorrow you choose you choose to have a good attitude and you give God credit and Jesus comes in when you do that, when you invite him in. He says if if he's knocking at the door and whoever opens the door, he'll come in and sup with them and them with him because we're building his kingdom and we're praying his kingdom to come down on the earth as it is already happening in heaven. That is why we're here. If you aren't meant to be here anymore, if God was done with you, you wouldn't be here anymore. God still is not done with you. He has a long way to go with you. If you're still here, he's got a job and a project for you. And we're working um, on our gifts and talents so we can use them in the millennium and the position he chooses to put us in. So he says not to be a lazy servant and go get drunk with the other people that have given up because they said that the Lord has withheld his coming. And it's slow in coming. It says, don't do that. Don't go giving up. Don't give up your confidence. We need to fight. This is a fight. It's called the good fight. And we have to fight till the very end. We have to fight to keep our hearts right, our crushes on our spouses, our boyfriends, our girlfriends. We need to not allow anything to take our excitement away from us. And we need to um, keep our focus on the kingdom that is coming. And God gives us joy and happiness and peace and patience right where we are. And we just need to practice it. It's part of our 
kingdom fight. We need to fight for our health, our happiness. I mean, when you get happiness and health and things like that taken from you, it's hard to be content. You know, we need to ask for that back and we need to figure out how to get that back in our lives because we're born pretty much most people are born happy and healthy and they need to figure out how to hang on to that because this is where the spiritual warfare is. So anyway, I'm, so anyway, to stay out of worry and strife, God says he takes care of us better than the little birds. And so that's why I'm videotaping. You can see the birds eating. So I will be talking to you later.